So we've all seen this effect where a building grows in layers like it's being summoned by a sci-fi architect. Well, what if I told you this entire thing can be done with no plugins in both Premiere as well as After Effects? Today, I'll show you a couple of methods to pull off this effect, starting first in Premiere, and then we'll move over to After Effects. Let's get to it. If you're working with a static shot, this Premiere method is a quick and simple way to fake the effect with solid results. First, duplicate your clip, then export a still frame of it and open it up in Photoshop. Use Generative Fill to remove the building and foreground, creating a clean sky plate. Then bring that back into Premiere and place it below your two video layers. Now you've got a clean base plate to build from. Go to your bottom footage layer and mask around the lower section of the building, including traffic or anything in the front. Then on the middle footage layer, mask the midsection of the building. Make sure it overlaps the lower mask slightly to avoid any gaps. Next, duplicate the clip again, move it to the top, delete the old mask, and draw a new one around the top section of the building, again overlapping the section below. Toggle the layers on and off to check that each part of the building is isolated on its own layer. Now animate their position so each section rises into frame from below. Start with the bottom, then middle, then top, about 10 frames each. Once the timing feels good, reorder the layers, bottom in front, middle in the middle, and top at the back. Add ease in and ease out to all your position keyframes to smooth the motion. Then nest the comp, apply the transform effect, and keyframe a fast zoom at the start. Crank the shutter angle for some slick motion blur, and you're all done. It's basically VFX for people like me who do a whole effect three times. Once in Premiere, once in After Effects, and once because I forgot to hit screen record for the damn tutorial. Now, quickly before we fire up After Effects, I used to pay for three tools to do what this one plugin does inside Premiere. So Revity gives you animated captions, millions of stock assets, and drag and drop animation presets. No After Effects required. Try it free at brevity.pro, link in the description. Now, if you want more control and a smoother finish, After Effects is definitely the move. So drop your footage into a comp and duplicate it. Disable the bottom one, and on the top layer, mask around the building and foreground. Invert that mask so you're seeing just the background. Right-click the mask, hit Track Mask, and Analyze Forward to auto-track it. Then go to Content Aware Fill, set it to Edge Blend, and generate the fill. Now you've got a clean background. No Photoshop needed. And to be fair, this is technically AI. Content Aware Fill has been doing generative work for years now. No pop-ups, no soul-stealing terms of service, just quiet, reliable magic built right into After Effects. Now bring in the original footage again, duplicate it, and move it to the top. Enable it and mask out the front section of the building, including the skyline and base. Track that mask forward, duplicate the footage again, place it just below, and mask out the midsection. Slightly overlap it with the layer above and track this mask too. Then duplicate the footage one more time, drop it to the bottom, and mask the top section of the building. Track that one as well. If you toggle your layers, each section should now be isolated and tracked perfectly. Now animate the position of each section so it floats in from below over about 10 frames. Easy ease all the keyframes for smoother motion and use the graph editor to tweak the curve like this. Then offset the animations a few frames and enable motion blur for each layer. Once everything's in place, make sure to pre-comp it all. Then apply the transform effect, set the shutter angle to 360 and keyframe a fast zoom out using scale and position. And that's it. So whether you're cranking out quick edits in Premiere or going full VFX mode in After Effects, now you've got options. Drop a comment with your favorite method below and make sure to tag me if you tried it. The project files are in the description and I'm posting micro tutorials nonstop over on Instagram, so make sure to go check that out. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.